Hello, in this video we will demonstrate uh, operation uh, interface simulation when we have an uh, interface which uh, provides and requires uh, operations and uh, here we have a uh, block which actually provides and uh, requires uh, operations from the interface, right? And we are using here for this uh, face perception system uh, now um, to enable communication so we need uh, some system which will have those this block and then another one like for example XYZ or maybe like it will be provider And uh, now here we are going to create interface because the, this one was created as a regular port. So here we'll create also regular port and uh, we can type it. If we are going, for example, to use just this one, you know, will provide this one is using this one will provide can just type by this one, as you can see here and then show those. Uh, um, but um, if you want to, you can actually create another block like this. We can create another type interface type like this it will be our interface, which is actually in this case, it is providing this interface realization. Right. And then uh, we are using this as a type and um, then we are going to show those provided required this one. So this was, uh, this is uh, here required and this one is here provided, right? Now, um, the next step is to implement operations of this interface. And to do this, we need to create interface realization to that uh, where they are available. So in this case, from our block, it is available here. So we are creating interface realization and then right click on the block, go to tools and go to the implement override operations, pick the operation in this case, this one, click. Okay. So in this case, what we get here, if you go here into this provider, you'll see that this is the one which uh, got this operation. So it is realizing this operation from this uh, interface and this interface is used here right and now when you will call from this one to this one uh, this implementation of this interface will uh, of this operation will be available uh, to use it and uh, now okay i, I am uh, actually implementing it but the method is not yet assigned right so the method I will right click on this operation and we'll go to create the method and that will be the diagram or behavior, the diagram in this case, activity diagram. I see those parameters here and uh, now I can uh, do something, right? I could actually have in and out parameters. In this case, it's just in uh, and this operation runs in that uh, this provider block. So it could do something uh, and in this case, uh, let me take this one and let's just print those values. So it will be like uh, print uh, A and then will be Print C, print B. If I want, I can manipulate with those values. For example, I can create value property here, which will be like a, like a X, which is like integer, integer, and then it can have default value like five, right? So I have this one, and then I, before that, I could say like. Uh, X uh, print uh, A plus X and that's it uh, and now this will be 
working here as a as a method of this operation right uh, of this operation uh, this one operation has a method this is <laughs> this is not the classifier behavior of this block it is just a method of this operation and now here I need to call this uh, operation so I need to create the uh, activity diagram as I did here in this block and uh, I will call this operation so I will use the call operation action and here it's very important uh, I need to specify which port I'm using to call this operation so we need to go to specification go to expert uh, on port uh, choose the block uh, in this case face perception system uh, port 3 and then uh, target is not needed uh, it is uh, by default will take the self as a target uh, and then uh, here I can choose the operation as you can see those operations are the ones which are provided from that another interface then I can choose the enroll to use the interface and uh, I can input those values okay and this one will call this is the main behavior of this one so it will call here I can show how that will look like okay this one will call this one will uh, will execute because the operation will execute uh, I can show like a uh, show operations this operation will execute this operation again select and containment tree here drag it yeah, this one can move those down and this one goes here okay and uh, for sure I need to connect those interfaces so I need to go here create internal block diagram choose this interface uh, choose this interface cre create the grid uh, and connect with the regular connector I will use not the binding connector but the regular connector right as you can see here I get some incompatibility with the interfaces because those are different really blocks used as interfaces and that's okay uh, that was an idea to have separated uh, completely different interfaces and now um, what next uh, yeah I can simulate this and if everything is okay this will execute it will call operation for this interface which it provides actually this operation then this operation will use this method this method will print those values those this behavior will not execute if i will just execute this one because it is not classify a behavior of this block as you can see here nothing is printed right nothing is printed here right now if i will uh, call this one simulation run slow down run those values comes here this is called this one travels through in the interface as you can see comes here and then prints those values as you can see here this was not this was one as a a and this is a is now uh, result is equal six because it attacks, takes existing value six here uh, what else I could do is actually I could uh, capture this into the sequence diagram so I can uh, start execution right click create sequence diagram move it here and uh, run So as you can see, I got uh, results captured into sequence diagram. So enrolled user, in, uh, you see this one is captured into sequence diagram, right? Uh, call operation with the ar uh, arguments, which calls operation of this provider. 
and uh, I could also execute the sequence diagram. So this could be actually really the scenario which I execute. In this case, I don't need this one because uh, this would duplicate. If I will execute the sequence diagram, this will execute, this will execute, this will execute, right? So it will call that and this one will call that, right? So it duplicates. So in that case, I will go here, specification, and um, I can uh, go to the expert class expert or maybe even all classify behavior it is um, fire behavior and unselect this one that this will not execute so what will happen that i will run this one this will run sequence actually i will execute sequence diagram which can exist here or can be in another block like when we automatically generated it it was in another block which is inherited from this one in any case then this one will call this operation so they will call this operation will input those values and this will print uh, the method uh, operation will print those values here so now let's run it so we'll go here run As you can see here, it inputs the values, and the first one is 6, the next one is yes, and then it's true. So I could change here, for example, the arguments could be that first one, two, right? So it should be now 7 result. Again, execute this one. So that's how we are modeling and simulating interface when we are using provided required uh, interface uh, through operations. Um, 